Hello electronics enthusiasts and amateur radio operators the world around. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Now you may know that I have a complete set of technician training videos that go right along section for section with the ARRL license manual. I have them for technician, they are on the ARRL YouTube channel, which is A-R-R-L-H-Q. Then, if you join the A-R-R-L, you can go to learn.arrl.org and you can find the general videos and the amateur extra videos are there. So you do need to be a member of the league to look at those too. Now, this is a question I got from Charlie, W9NBZ, who is working at age 80 to get his extra license, and I commend him highly for doing that. I have a, a feeling with his experience in ham radio that he is really going to enjoy that amateur extra license. He says, in one of the videos at almost exactly four minutes, you show a circuit containing a 12-volt battery, an LED, and a resistor. There are 10 milliamps flowing in the circuit, and the LED takes two volts. Okay, so let's draw this out and see what we've got here. We've got a 12 volt battery and it goes to an LED, which has got light emitting from it. And then there's a, a current limiting resistor. These are current driven devices. If you just apply voltage to them, they'll burn out. And so we have a current of 10 milliamps. There's two volts across here. So that means there's 10 volts across here. What is the current? He says there's a 10 volt voltage drop across the resistor. That's true. And there's 10 milliamps of current. So can we figure out what the resistor value is? Well, E equals I R or E over I equals R. Okay, the voltage is 10 volts and the current is 0.0 one amps. These have all got to be in amps, volts, and ohms. Okay, this is the same as multiplying times 100. Okay, 0 0.10 amps, that's 10 milliamps, which is the same as multiplying by 100. You get one kilo ohm. Okay, now he says no, you get 10 kilo ohms. But let's take a look at this again 10 volts divided by amps, which is 0 0.010, 10 milliamps, okay. So we have 10 volts divided by 0 0.01, and the answer is 1,000. So I came up with the answer that this is a 1K resistor, 1 kilo ohm. He thought it came out to something different. But I do think I did it right. So this is an example in Chapter 5. And this is how you bias in a light emitting diode. This is called the current limiting resistor. 10 volts across here, 10 milliamps, versus 2 volts across here, still at 10 milliamps. Current's the same all the way around, okay, because they're in series. All right, and we come up with a 1K resistor. So I think that answers Charlie's question. One of the things that struck me as I studied the amateur extra material is it really helped me understand what is actually going on at the electronic level with all of these components and parts and waves and all of that sort of thing like that. So if you enjoyed this video or any of my other videos, think about supporting the channel. Go to patreon.com slash ke0og. And if you join at just this level, $2 a month, okay? That's not very much, two bucks a month. I won't even buy you a hamburger. <laughs> It'll really help me out. And you get to look at the videos before they're actually launched on YouTube. We put them up on Patreon, also for the members, also for the PayPal. They get a link to it and so on, so they can look at these videos. And it might be a month before we get around to actually posting it on YouTube. We try to do four long form 
and two short form videos a week plus a live stream on Thursday evenings. So if you have any questions about that, drop me a line at castler28 at gmail.com. Until we next meet, 73.